Hello, welcome to Living English. Today we're going to find out when to use the words have and has. We'll also look at how to order food and what to say about it when you get it. But first, here's today's episode of our drama. What would you like? Yeah. Um, I'll have a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino, thanks. Do you have wine? No, sir, we don't serve alcohol. We have coffee, tea, soft drinks and juices. OK. I'd like a orange juice and a pie with chips. Do you have sauce? Just help yourself and I'll bring the food when it's ready. Thank you. Is that good? It's delicious. You should try one. It's real Aussie food. Maybe one day. I don't eat a lot of meat. How's your coffee? Mm, it's very good. Don't you drink coffee? Sometimes. I prefer tea or juice. So, is the koala the best? Oh, definitely. The kangaroos are interesting too. I've never seen real ones before. And the birds are wonderful. I think I like the birds the most. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. What about you? What did you like best? Just being here. Let's have a look again at Anne ordering some food. Um, I'll have a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino, thanks. She says, I'll have and thanks. Try ordering a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino with Anne. Um, I'll have a cheese and salad sandwich and a cappuccino, thanks. Usually, when we say I'll have when ordering something, we say thanks as well. You can also say could I have or can I have. Try ordering a cappuccino, that's a coffee with froth on the top, saying can I have. Can I have a cappuccino, thanks? You can also say please instead of thanks. Try saying please with could I have a cappuccino. Could I have a cappuccino, please? Now listen to Steve ordering his lunch. I'd like a orange juice and a pie with chips. I'd like an orange juice. I'd is short for I would. I would like an orange juice. Try saying, I'd like an orange juice and a pie with chips. Now listen to Steve asking a couple of questions. First, he asks about wine. Do you have wine? And later, he asks about sauce. Do you have sauce? Do you have sauce? What's another way of asking this question by saying have before you? Have you... Have you got sauce? Try the same with wine. Have you... Have you got wine? No, sir, we don't serve alcohol. We have coffee, tea, soft drinks and juices. We have coffee. We use the word have a lot. Do you have sauce? Just help yourself and I'll bring the food when it's ready. Help yourself means that the sauce is on the counter and you can use as much as you want. Often, cafes have bowls of sugar on the tables. You help yourself to the sugar in these. The woman in the cafe also says, and I'll bring the food when it's ready. She means that she will bring their food to their table. Now let's listen to what Anne and Steve think about their food and drink. First, Steve. Is that good? It's delicious. And now Anne. 
How's your coffee? Oh, it's very good. Steve doesn't really like coffee. He thinks tea is better. Listen to how he says this to Anne. Don't you drink coffee? Sometimes. I prefer tea. I prefer coffee. I think it's better than tea. Well, I prefer tea. Oh, hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What have you got there? I have some fruit. I have an apple and a banana. Which do you prefer? I prefer the banana. And I prefer the apple. To prefer something means to like it better. What does Brenton prefer? Bananas or apples? He prefers bananas. And what does Michelle prefer? She prefers apples. Another way of saying this would be, he likes bananas better than apples. And what about me? She likes apples better than bananas. Remember, Steve prefers tea. We could say he prefers tea to coffee. How would we say this using likes? He likes... He likes tea better than coffee. So what would we say about Anne? She likes... She likes coffee better than tea. Now, Brenton, I've got some other types of fruit here. I have a pear, an orange, a pineapple, and a mango. Which fruit do you like best? The mango. I like the mango the best. What about you? Um, I like the pear the best. If we say the best, it means out of all of these things, I like it most. I like it more than any of the other things. So if I have two things, I would say, which do you prefer? If I have many things, I would say, which do you like the best? So what does Brenton like the best? You say he likes... He likes the mango the best. What about Michelle? What does she like the best? She likes... She likes the pear the best. Now watch the clip. Steve and Anne are talking about their day and what they liked the best. Anne has another way of saying what she liked the best. Was the koala the best? Oh, definitely. The kangaroos are interesting too. I've never seen real ones before. And the birds are wonderful. I think I like the birds the most. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. What about you? What did you like best? Just being here. So first Anne agrees with Steve that the koala was the best. Then she changes her mind. She says, I think I liked the birds the most. Saying you like something the most is the same as saying you like it the best. And another way is to say it's your favourite. Pears are my favourite fruit. And mangoes are my favourite. What can we say when we don't like something? We know that Michelle prefers apples to bananas. She could say, I don't like bananas as much as apples. That's true. And what about Brenton, who prefers bananas? What would he say? I don't like... I don't like apples as much as bananas. And what about Steve with coffee and tea? He doesn't like... He doesn't like coffee as much as tea. And Anne? She doesn't like... She doesn't like tea as much as coffee. 
And what do you like the least, Brenton, out of all of these kinds of fruit? Hmm. I like pears the least. What about you? I like pineapples the least. You try at home. What does Brenton like the least? He likes... He likes pears the least. And what about Michelle? She likes... She likes pineapples the least. I don't like pineapples at all. And I, I don't like pears at all. I, I never eat them. Steve and Anne were having lunch. Lunch is the name of the meal we eat in the middle of the day. What are the names of the other meals? What is the name of the meal at the start of the day? Breakfast. And what is the name of the meal at the end of the day? Dinner. In Australia, dinner is usually the main meal of the day. Now, let's look at how Steve describes his pie. Is that good? It's delicious. You should try one. It's real Aussie food. He says it's delicious. He likes it very much. It tastes good. You try saying it's delicious with Steve. Is that good? Is that good? It's delicious. Delicious is an adjective. It describes the food. How would you describe your mango? It's delicious. It's sweet. It's very juicy. How would you describe your apple? Mm. It's also delicious. It's crisp or firm. It's refreshing. Remember in the last program, we looked at adjectives to describe animals. Listen to Anne describing her day at the wildlife park. See how many adjectives you can hear describing animals. Is the koala the best? Oh, definitely. The kangaroos are interesting too. I've never seen real ones before. And the birds are wonderful. I think I like the birds the most. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. How many did you hear? There were three. Let's listen again. First, how does Anne describe the kangaroos? The kangaroos are interesting too. She said the kangaroos were interesting. Interesting is an adjective. How does she describe the birds? And the birds are wonderful. She says they are wonderful. And she describes the birds another way too. They're so colourful and so many different kinds. She says they're so colourful. Notice that little word, so. Saying something is so colourful is the same as saying it's very colourful. And that's all we have time for today.